Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Um, so I went to the Natural Products Expo earlier this year. That's the big, big, big one that's out in Anaheim. And you'll get maybe, I don't know what it is anymore, it used to be over 95,000 in a weekend. They built this whole building just for it. But it was such a different feeling when I got there. It was corporate. Because it used to go there, there was all these fun, there was all these companies, there was all this enthusiasm. And it was just absolutely amazing, and uh, you know all these, all this just energy going on, and things coming in, and we're taking over the market. Well, it's all been corporatized. It's boring. It was boring. It was just quiet. I mean, you can find a lot of good stuff and everything, and but I'll tell you why. It's because the corporate industries, the corporations, have bought up all the companies. There's some, you know, I want to say there's nothing left. Uh, you know, the watershed's available if anybody wants to buy it for millions and millions of dollars. Sure. So, um, but they just all bought it up. Now, Clorox bought Bert, Burt's Bees. That was a long time ago. Mars bought Seeds of Change. Haynes uh, Celestial bought Garden of Eden. Uh, General Mills bought Cascadian Farms. Um, Unilever Lever bought Ben & Jerry's. And by the way, Ben & Jerry's, from what I understand, is just now crap. They don't even call it all naturals anymore. I was never a big fan of that ice cream, but uh, that's not great. They, and they're sellouts, Ben and Jerry's. They were never going to sell out and all that. They're just sellouts. Um, Kellogg's bought Ka Kashi a long time ago. Kraft bought Boca Foods. Um, Coca Cola bought Adwala. Okay. Uh, Pepsi bought Naked Juice. Um, and these were big companies. When Naked Juice came out, I mean, it was a huge amount of energy. They gave away these really cool bags. And then they got bought up. And when, when these companies get bought up, it was just, they just become boring. They really, it's really true. Uh, Danon, they bought up uh, Stonyfield Farms, sorry. Uh, Colgate, Palmatta, they, they bought um, uh, Tom's of Maine. Uh, Hershey's bought Dagoba Chocolate. We're going to get back to that one. That guy's a sellout. Uh, Garden of Life was bought by Nestle. You know, that's that was a, one of the last big companies. So uh, Applegate Farms was purchased by Hormel. Justin's Peanut Butter Cups or Elm Butter Cups was bought by Har Hormel as well. Annie's Homegrown was bought by General Mills. Uh, Zika, which is coconut water, was bought by Coca-Cola. Uh, Lara Bar, that was bought by <laughs> General Mills. My kids used to love those, and they're really just kind of garbage now. Honest Tea. That was bought by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola also bought Energy Brands. General Mills bought Annie's. Um, uh, Primal Kitchen was bought by Kraft Heinz. And I've saved the two funniest ones for the end. And that is Epic Pro uh, Provisions was bought by General Mills for about $100 million. And, um, and then there's another one, Hershey's. They bought Dagoba Chocolate. Okay, and let me tell you something. First one, Epic Pro Provisions. Now. If you want to sell out, they bought $100 million, they sold that company. More power to them. I'm not against anybody selling out. Maybe I would do the same thing. They kind of come in and they tell you, look, if you don't sell out, well, uh, we're going to destroy, you know, we're going to become your competition. And believe me, you'll want to sell out and you won't have any choice. So they sell out. And I understand that I, I might do the same. I kind of doubt it, but never know. But um, so Epic Provisions bought by General Mills, $100 million, Taylor Collins and Katie Forrest. So they're going to change the culture of General Mills. Really? You know, I mean, General Mills is worth billions and billions of dollars, and you're going to change their culture? <laughs> Are you that naive? You started a $100 million company, and you think you can do change the culture of a corporation? And the same one was worth Frederick Schilling. He started... The Goba chocolates, and they were really snobby people. I don't know if he was, but you go to the expos, man. They're, uh, you know, they had such an attitude. Like our, our chocolate is just so good, and we don't use any waste or anything. They wrap them in paper, and uh, but they hated using paper. So what a so this guy Frank, he's going to change Hershey's Corporation. Here's a here's a corporation that has uh, like its own store right on the Las Vegas Strip. You know Hershey's. And it's all their, you know, crappy Hershey's products. You're not going to change this com company. You're not going to change their culture. And you people, both of you, you're just naive and you're kind of idiots thinking you can do this. When you sell out, you're out. They get rid of you within six months, the founders. They always get rid of you. Maybe sooner, maybe you never come back. You get huge amounts of money that's being thrown around here. And somebody wants to buy your brand or they want to buy you your company or whatever you want to do. Usually they want somebody with a lot of distribution. That's what they really want. Uh, this idea that you're going to change the culture of a corporation uh, is ridiculous, number one. And number two, yes, all the corporations 
have finally bought up all the big companies that were in the natural health space. Maybe there'll be new ones coming up, I mean, bigger ones or whatever. But um, they got into this, and every one of the they they usually look they usually destroy these brands, um, and it's not the same thing. Look at Ben and Jerry's. You know, I'm not an ice cream eater, but uh, you know, I've heard that it's just garbage now. Ben and Jerry's by Unilever. They just took out everything. I don't even think it says Alton Natural anymore. Go look at it. But all this resistance and all this, uh, you know, social justice and everything. Ben and Jerry's are sellouts. And uh, I think this guy from Dugoba Chocolate, I would, I would have done the same thing. But he's a sellout because he thought, I'm, you know, we're so good and we're going to change the culture. You're not going to change anything. Get with it. Don't be, don't be, don't be stupid. Don't be naive. It's not going to happen. You sell your brand, it's gone. And these corporations, all of them, they could care less. They roll over everything. Uh, they kicked me out of the bottled water business in Target many, many, many years ago. Coke, Pepsi, 7-Up, they showed They They planogrammed me out of existence. I was the biggest selling beverage in Target where I was here in Lansing by far. I went up against Snapple, if you remember that company. I don't know who bought it. Um, I think it was Quaker Oats or something like that. They bought that. And uh, they kind of destroyed that that brand, Snapple. And but I outsold them. I outsold Coca-Cola. I outsold everybody, and they just bought up the shelf space. And that's what they do. And that's who corporations are. So stop thinking that you are going to you know change their culture. It's never going to happen. And you know you're just naive. And the rest of you people, like I said, there's a couple on here. I think this to go was kind of a sellout just because he was so high-minded and I'll never sell and we're going to change the culture. You just wanted the money. I don't blame you for wanting the money, but quit telling me something that you're going to do something high-minded here and it'll change things for the better. You don't change corporations. And the Natural Products Expo, that's been bought by a giant corporation, <laughs> uh, Informa. And it's not the same. It's just and the prices every year, the booze go up and up and everything goes up and up and up. It's terrible. So that's who owns the natural product industry now, for the most part. Um, go down to the local, go down to your farmer's market, grow your own food, know where it's coming from, and then you'll have control of your food source. I never buy anything in a box or a jar or a can, and here's why. Because you don't know what's in that stuff. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time.